hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make this quick and easy guyanese style macaroni and cheese now i try to find just local um ingredients that's found in guyana so that i can make the um recipe as authentic as possible so here i have some elbows macaroni and i'll be using some anchor cheese i also have some eggs i have half evaporated milk and half whole milk i'll be using some mustard butter some grated garlic chili peppers some scallions and for the seasoning i have some all-purpose seasoning and black pepper as well as salt and chicken bouillon now here's the all-purpose seasoning i'll be using uh, it can be found anywhere in guyana so let's get started with this recipe so to begin you want to start by adding the bouillon and the salt to your water mix well and then we'll add our noodles here we'll boil until it's al dente you don't want to boil it too soft because we'll be cooking it a little more in the oven next we'll combine the milk and the eggs mix well and set that aside now if you can find the bouillon powder you can simply use bouillon cubes it's all the same Once the macaroni is done, you want to add it to a mixing bowl and then we'll add the butter in there. Allow the butter to melt and you will allow this to cool down a bit before we proceed to the next step because we don't want to cook our eggs or make it, you know, curdle. So we'll allow this to cool a bit before we move on to the next step. So now we will add our mustard as well as the garlic, the chilies and the scallions. You want to mix real well and remember that if you don't like it spicy, you can add less chilies or even omit it. You could also add sweet peppers here just to add a pop of color and brightness. Once we mix those in real well, we'll go in with the cheese. Now remember you could add as much or as little cheese as you like, but this kind of cheese here, it is high in sodium, meaning it's kind of salty. So you want to be mindful of how much you're adding. You want a healthy balance and not overpower it with too much cheese. So once we mix those in, we'll add our egg and milk mixture, mix that in as well, and then we'll transfer this to our baking dish. And lastly, you want to add a generous amount of cheese over top and then we'll pop this in a 375 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. Now, if your oven is super high in heat, you might want to do 350, but you have to know your appliances and know how it works. So bear that in mind. After about 45 minutes, this is what we have here, but we'll allow this to cool down a bit before we slice into it and see what it looks like on the inside. Once I sliced into this, it was pure perfection on the inside. And the thing about it, I didn't do too much. All I used was one cheese, milk, eggs, and some seasoning. And it was absolutely amazing. And I did serve it up with some smothered chicken, asparagus, and some cilantro lime rice. It was a hit and I can't wait for you all to try the recipe. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and leave a comment down below. Also, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And I will leave all the ingredients down in my description box. I will see you all in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy!